Yeah, we have a third. Uh, can you can you detect those differences? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Sir, All right. sir uh, automatic uh, so equipment turtle name yeah. turtle just but like it, a turtle ship. But but does it see what? Does, have a sensor. Does, it, does it look at the engine? <laughs> no. <laughs> Tell no, you no, what, no, what, no, si no, what size no, engine no, it's got. No, no, no. <laughs> it's it's uh, on Excel. Uh, Excel. Uh, yes, on Excel. So, so anyway, that's that's how it's been set up. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, we should <laughs> we should remove your. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, yeah so hundred cc. Yeah. So. Um, it depends on the vehicle coming on, like just like Suzuki car. We know the. Yeah. It's, mm. uh, it is seven. Uh, yeah. Three, uh, it will be, I think uh, this type of categorization has been in car small, medium, and large. Yeah. Yeah. So they have yeah. just like explained that what sort yeah. of they've done. Yeah. It is, okay. the, it, it is the it is the explanation of that one. Yeah, but what any anyway, um, you uh, you you have a range of vehicle types that, yeah. that and and you can you, you can you can change that. Although it's it's a if you've already got existing analyses, it's a big deal changing it because once because changing it change, um, you lose everything that, that you've got. So so probably what you should do is leave it as it is for. Until you're a little bit familiar with it yeah. all, and 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 then have a sit down and say, okay, but this is this is what uh, this is what we want just, to change. Just this is what we want to do. Explanation. Uh, these are the standard um, uh, base types of vehicles. Well, this this the, one of the features, one of the ways that HDM4 is designed is that you can put the information in at different levels of accuracy, right? So, um, on the vehicles, if, if if all you do is select one of these base types, it will just put automatically put in the information for that base type, right? So, when when you define, but but then in the definitions, you can you can you can modify that. You can you can you can make it much more sophisticated. So so you can have one base type, but you can have several different different. Varieties of so this is <coughs> this just gives you the, the default parameters if you like, default and, and and then you define it in in greater detail. Okay, okay. Um, so we can add or add new vehicle from here. You can add new vehicles. So what what we want, what I want you to do is to is to is edit. to edit first of all. Okay, so so in the edit, this all the fields tend to be like this. So so you have so in in the edit you you have you have a number of different um, tags. Uh, tags. So we basic so the definition tags that we were on before. You know, just you can, you can write what what you like so that you can rem remember what you were doing, yeah. All right? Then the basic characteristics is so this 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 gives you physical characteristics. Okay, so the, the, this is the you know the PCU uh, um, number of wheels, number of fixes. Yeah. Base number of recaps. It's a standard retreat. of vehicles, I think. We retreat yeah. cost fifteen percent. I don't know. Yeah. What is okay. this? This is the bias ply, radial ply, single person. Okay. Now the, these are quite important because they, they yeah. these utilization. the the average utilization, um, and and the private use factor. Um, what is this? That's, um, that's so, the, so this this says that 95 percent of the time it's used it's for commercial use and for okay. five percent it's for private Person. private use and 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 you ha you can have different values of time basically based so on. So how on, we know on, that on, on, this vehicle is used for five percent and this will be for ten percent? You in to do it properly. Yeah. To do it properly, you have to go out and do surveys. You know, you have to you have to you have to. You have to Stop people on the road and talk to them, and and, yeah. and, um, 
uh, an actual but fact. Generally, and, 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 is there any recommendation will you uh, that it's a new vehicle? It will be used for hundred percent private. No, it can be different for different. This, well, just when, when a recommended value the, the range because <coughs> it's a very laborious we'll one. Go into that later because yeah, can be yeah. specific. Um, Economic unit for the okay, you know, economic unit costs. It's now these, the, this, so this is the cost of a new vehicle, the cost of a of a tire, the cost of fuel, cost of oil, cost of maintenance labor. It is in rupees or uh, in in, in rupees. They have given the previous. This was done in 2013, so they have yeah. given that uh, price 90. to 90 per liter. Yeah. So if we are doing for this year, we will put in the. Okay. Yeah. Lubricating price per liter annual interest, annual overhead, queue, wages, maintenance level, passenger working time, cargo, passenger not working now, okay, a lot of details. So it is moment? different, for, it is for bus, attributing for bus. Yes, we, yeah. we selected yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. So we yeah. can that if we select the car and go to edit, there it will be. Okay. Not much difference. Okay. Okay. Now, the, if if you if you well, can take out of this one, go to a truck one, for example, and and click on here, um, and you you have quite a sophisticated process well, poten potentially. Potentially for working out what the what truck operating costs are, are going to be, and and I'm quite sure that the con the, the classic truck. It is calculating here. calculating of truck easel in two three steps three yeah. steps. It is calculate easel factor. Yeah. Wizards set up one two three. So this so it's, it's calculating the equivalent standard axles based on the on based on the actual grouping of, of the of, of axles. Okay. So you start, so you're getting into quite sophisticated uh, calculations here, um, which all and so all these things actually. Now, as I say, it's data hungry. You have there's a lot of a lot of data that you can. Yeah. What what I, what I think we need to concentrate initially on, um, let's we, we, is the concept. Okay. Yeah. So the, so the so the concept of this this thing is that you that it, that it has but for um, standard or average vehicles, it it mm -hmm. has the vehicle characteristics. Okay. And and the. Um, Oops, where do I go? Yeah, the vehicle characteristics and and the and and the costs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's the um, so that's so that's the vehicle type. Now, when you come to the road network, that's interesting. So we have Next already slide. done the road Hello. network, which is St. W. Center Division, Ekka Division. We have a yeah. three main division, yeah. Center, uh, North, and Ekka. Yeah, and then you have the PKHR road, the fourth one. Fourth one. So let's let's open one of those. These are our PKH road. Okay, so this, so, so here you have. We give him the ID, our S1. <coughs> yep. Our road is S1. We have categorized S1, 2, 3, mm -hmm. up to 14 or 15. Yep. That's right. These are the, our description is the name. Yeah. Like this. And the data, I don't know what is, it is modified in 2014. Yeah. Uh, class is bituminous or TST or yeah. mm, uh, um, what can I say the rigid payment mm -hmm. uh, payment type has already been given 
Yeah, yeah the, retribution. I don't know what the calibration it. item. I will is is the last the last one on that list that I was talking about, right? Right. So you can have we would have different tel calibration factors items for. And so in particular, you would you would probably have a different calibration item for um, water-based macadam with a with a surface compared with crushed asphalt with with um, asphalt. Crush the, rock the, with yes, the like this asphalt mix on asphalt yeah. bases A1. Yeah. And the surface, surface treatment, treatment on granular bases S2. S2. S1. Yeah.